In today's video, we're going to learn how to customize the home screen on our Galaxy S25 Ultra more than we've ever been able to before. And in order to do this, we're going to be using Samsung Goodlock, which is currently available for free in the Samsung Galaxy Store, and it's slated to be moved over to the Google Play Store at any time. So if you don't see it in the Galaxy Store, head on over to the Play Store, especially if you happen to watch this video in the future, because it may have migrated over to there by now. And the module that we're going to use to customize our home screen even further is HomeUp. So you're going to want to go ahead and download that, then open up HomeUp. And if we take a look at HomeUp that's in One UI 7 versus older versions of HomeUp, you can see there's quite a big difference. However, when you go into the functionality of all this, both versions are pretty much the same, except for one thing. And that's the thing we're going to talk about today. Turn on HomeUp. You're going to want to turn on the home screen customization like we have it on now. And then once we go in there, we're going to be focusing on this section right here, DIY home screen. Go ahead and turn that on and you come inside here and it's going to give you a little bit of verbiage about what this does. Decorate your home screen by adding various stickers. Freely move items on your home screen. And we can fine tune the stickers even further after we're done making our customizations. So once you have it turned on, there's nothing else to do here in home up. You can go ahead and minimize it. In order to further customize your home screen like I have here, you want to go ahead and pinch in on your home screen. And then we have DIY Home. Now this gives us some options at the bottom. And right now we only have one available and this is to add a sticker. So these are the stickers I've already used. And if we go over further, here's our standard stickers that are available on device. We can also switch over to various different shapes. And we can also download more stickers by hitting the plus sign here. And this will take us out to the Galaxy Store where you can pick from other stickers and further customize our home screen even more. So once you've picked a sticker that you like, go ahead and tap on that. It's going to bring it onto your screen. And you can grab any of the anchor handles and make the object larger or smaller. I should say the sticker rather. We can also turn it however we want. And then once we're done here, you're going to see these options down here. So we have this transparency option. Allows us to increase the transparency or bring it back to opaque. We can also change the color of our sticker right here. This next option will inverse it. And then this next option will duplicate the current sticker. And then this plus minus will bring the sticker to the front or to the background. And then we have the option to delete them. Now the other option that we have with DIY Home, if we go back to this and hit DIY Home, we can grab any one of our icons that we have and you can fine tune it. And you can move the icon freely, which we've never really been able to do before. It's always like snap to grid, you know what I mean? There's like certain areas on the screen that it'll snap to and there's other areas that it will try to avoid. Here with this new DIY home feature, we can move these around anywhere we want, exactly where we want them. You can blend them right together if you want. If you're trying to get more icons on the screen, you can come up with a crazy pattern, whatever you want to do. Another cool thing you can do with the icons is you can go ahead and select one and you can grab the anchor points and you can twist them around like this, just like the stickers. You can make them smaller and bigger. And what else is cool is you can tap on more than one and you can grab the anchor point of any one of these icons and you can do all of them at the same time. So you can do it like in a group setting. I mean, we've never had anything close to this before. This is flipping awesome. So this gives us the ability to really fine tune the elements on the home screen. Now what's cool is, is this will be trickling down to other Galaxy devices as well because this is currently only in One UI 7, but for you S24 Ultra, S23 Ultra owners, all of you that have the foldables, you'll be getting this very, very soon. So if you have any questions about this DIY homepage stuff, please drop a comment down below. I really do appreciate your time. And as always, thanks for watching.